You want the best for your car? You already watch all tutorials. So the best place for the best deal is to buy from the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You will find the bulk in and out of tie rods used in the video exclusively on the Mr. Auto website and through the link in the description. Turn your engine off and pull up the handbrake. To be able to change the inner and outer tie rods on your vehicle, you must lift the front of the car and remove the wheels to gain complete access to the steering system. Loosen the stud bolts on the front wheels. Raise the front of the vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely, before carrying out this step. You will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. You can now see the outer tie rod end. These elements can often get jammed, so use a penetrating oil to facilitate the operation. Using an adjustable spanner, release the holding nut on the tie rod end. It is there to stop any form of rotation of the two pieces towards each other, as this could have an impact on the geometric settings of your vehicle. With a marker, trace a line between the axle joint and the tie rod end. It will help later during the disassembly and reassembly process. Using a flathead screwdriver, release the holding key on the castellated nut. Then remove it using pliers. Using a socket wrench and a 17mm socket, release the holding nut on the tie rod end. If you don't have a ball joint puller, take a hammer and hit the lock nut hard just at the end of the threading. The ball joint should move away from the pivot. Only tap on the tie rod end pivot if you're changing the tie rod end, otherwise you risk damaging the threading. Paying close attention to the point of reference, unscrew the tie rod end counting the number of turns necessary to extract the tie rod end. Using calipers, measure the distance between the lock nut and the end of the tie rod axle joint. This will be needed during the reassembly process to get as close as possible to the original settings. With pliers, remove the external metallic clip on the protective sleeve for the tie rod axle joint. With a cutter, cut the external part of the sleeve so that you can remove it. With pliers, remove the interior metallic clip on the protective sleeve. Remove the sleeve. Using a tie rod iron or extractor, a specific tool for carrying out this job, you can now loosen everything without difficulty. To do this, insert the tool up to the fixed part of the tie rod, then with a socket wrench and a long extender, force it in in an anti-clockwise direction. If the tie rod axle joint is equipped with marks, release them using adjustable spanners. Please support us, subscribe and like the video, that will be really cool. Take the new axle joint and unscrew the lock nut provided with it. Put it in the steering cock housing. Still using the same tool or using an adjustable spanner, lock the tie rod axle joint but in a clockwise direction this time. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Then remove the tool. Take the new sleeve. Grease the end as it will make it easier to put the sleeve on. Then install the sleeve. Put the internal clip back on. Tighten the clip, being careful not to exaggerate for fear of damaging the protective sleeve. Now put the external clip back in place. Screw the lock nut back on until the distance measured with the caliper is reached.
take the new tie rod end. Put the tie rod end back in place, making the same number of turns as counted during disassembly. Put the tie rod end into the pivot. Put the nut provided with the new part in place. And tighten it using a socket wrench. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Take the new key and put it in place with the castellated nut. Fold the key using pliers. Screw the lock nut onto the tie rod end on the side of the tie rod axle joint. Then you will be able to put the wheels back on your vehicle putting it back on the ground before properly fixing them in place. During this operation, you will work on the steering system of your vehicle. Checks on tyre alignment, when carried out by a professional, will guarantee that your steering system has been perfectly aligned and is in good working order. Operation completed. Hello, if this video helped you, like and subscribe.